Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I hope everybody is staying healthy and everybody's taking care of themselves and their families too. Uh, if you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids in less than five minutes and with the stuff available at home and helping them think out of the box, then you are at the right place. All you have to do is just subscribe uh, and hit the bell icon. All right, guys. So in today's video, before I get going, I have to give a shout out. Uh, to this amazing channel that I stumbled upon a couple of uh, weeks back and I have been watching these guys for over three months now and uh, looks like they started their channel when uh, the lockdown began in India and I must say it's incredible I find it really hilarious the channel's name is Pranami Times it's done by these little cute girls and they have these amazing DIYs they have this um, they, they try and do some jazz, they try and enact, and they have this all situation-based videos, which um, I find really hilarious and I find really brave for the kids to try. So definitely they're explo uh, exploring their creative side and I would definitely want to help them by giving them a shoot out right here. And I would request my subscribers to please go there um, and like their channel, uh, give them a thumbs up and share it with your families. I think the videos are a little funny. So you would definitely enjoy that. All right, so the channel description sorry <coughs> so sorry okay so the link of the channel is right in the description box below and uh, you might see it up here on the card as well and here you can see a picture or a snippet of the videos that uh, they do okay guys so now if you subscribe my channel make sure that you subscribe prep pranavi times too make sure that we give a proper support to all those kids who are doing it out there they definitely need it. All we need to do is just support them by uh, liking, by subscribing and leaving some nice comments for them and sharing their videos with our loved ones. All right, guys. So for today, I have made a pretty cool super hack book for maths again. Okay. The calendar was such a hit with Vivan. I have to share a video with you guys because he did it. Uh, we have, we are halfway through, some left, but we are still going to finish it. I think we're going to finish it by the coming week. And I've made another one for him. And again, using something very witty and cool. So without further delay, let me show you these daily math activity book that you can make for your kids according to their age. And you can improvise or you can adapt it according to your child's interest, number, age. I have primarily made it for multiplication, but it is definitely adding a lot of addition, which is going to work for mental maths or mental calculations. And that's something that I want to work on on a daily basis with Vivan after school. Once virtual learning or homeschooling or home learning is done, we definitely want to do that. So without any further delay, let's get going. All right, guys, so this is the book that I was talking about, and this is what I'm going to share with you. So this is uh, for multiplication. So I'm using repeated addition, array, equal groups, and many more super cool activities in multiplication. Okay, so the book is totally covered with a lot of DIYs, and let's get going. Let me show you a couple of things before. Um, so this is called number pyramids, and what you, what you see here is I've used dot stickers, you could just randomly make a pyramid with a circle and you could just write numbers. So how this works is um, you have to multiply two into three. Okay, you need to write number here. Then you multiply this into this and you write the number here. Then you multiply this number with this number. The answer goes here. So like this, I have given eight and 9, 10, 11, 12, all 12 uh, options for kids to do with different, different, uh, so like here you see I've already given the lower line, all lower lines, here I've given line like this, then I have some randomly placed numbers here, here, and then the numbers also go up, and you could see I've given the answer right here, the answer right here, they need to figure it out what goes here. So this is the number pyramid that I've given. Then I have some uh, old school calculation, which is uh, double digit, because Vivan is already doing that, and I have a single digit one right here. Now let me show it to you from the beginning right here. Okay, so this is the array method, which is the row with equal amount in each. Solve the problem, write the question. So guys, what have I done? All the stickers that I've used all across in my different activities, I had this empty paper and I thought this is perfect to be used to do addition or multiplication or subtraction. And I thought there is no better way to do uh, multiplication with this. All right, so this is three into two. 
So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So you're gonna write three into two right here, and then the same thing goes here. You need to count rows with equals amount in each, all right? So you have one, two, three, four, five, and I have cut that sticker in such a way that I'm using them to uh, solve the array method. Same thing here one more time, and then you have repeated addition by threes. So you have three, three, three. The, uh, the child needs to add, but at the same time, they're multiplying. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 times they need to do to get the answer right here. The arrows also show the way they have to go. So this is repeated addition by threes. This was array method by the stickers that were just left or done. This is repeated addition by four. So I have again cut the stickers uh, in four and I've placed it right here to do repeated addition. Now this was equal groups. So as you can see, there are four groups, okay, of four. There are uh, six group of two, okay, and because they're equal groups, then you have three groups of six and you have two groups of three. And the same thing here, now you have write the sentence. So you have something here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four. So you have six into four. So the child needs to write six into four and then the answer. The same goes here, I'm sorry. And then they need to figure it out. So you have to write the sentence here. You were just building up, um, you were just answering the question. Okay, so here you have to like decode and multiply and I'm going to show you how exactly you're going to do that. So you have 42 into 22. So this you say, see as 4 and this you see as 2. So this represents 4 and this represents 2. This represents 2 and 2. So this is 42 into 22. The child needs to decode like this, okay? 42 into 22 and then they need to solve the answer right here. So the same thing goes here. I thought this was pretty interesting. Okay, then you have a decoding activity right here, which is a multiplication activity, and the child needs to pick up the number from here, and they need to then uh, find the multiplication answer. Then you have to state true or false. Seven is a multiple of two. 26 is a multiple of 10. Is it true or false? 52 is a multiple of 10. Is it true or false? So you have a couple of options right here. So guys, this was a pretty cool book, and I feel like that we have a lot of activities here. If I'll say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine different activities to do in multiplication with your kids. And I think if you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you like and comment the video. Don't forget to subscribe and do share uh, your feedback, your views with me. And um, I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.